I'd like to thank you all for staying after school for this important ceremony. I can't see. Give me a boost. <laughs> what? <laughs> Watch the hair and the spine. In any event, we are here today to honor one of Finnegan High's most beloved figures. A ghost? Hardly, although he is hauntingly charming. You commissioned a statue of yourself? Boo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are we saying boo to show our displeasure with the tater statue, or are we trying to lure the ghost back? People, please. It's completely appropriate for a school to honor one of its principals in this manner. How can we even afford this, given that the school has so many other needs, like updating the computer science lab? What? Why? The Calcutron 2000 works just fine. As long as your students remember to change its light bulbs once in a while and keep its vacuum tubes free of mice. <laughs> Besides, this statue was paid for with money from our building fund. Shouldn't that money be saved to make emergency repairs to the building? Please. This old girl's as sturdy as the day she was constructed. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's not funny, Calcutron. Where am I gonna find something to keep the rain off me? Of course, it's so obvious. Hey, what are you doing? Quiet, Umbrella. Well, I guess it's better than the time you used me as a plunger. I can't believe the school still hasn't fixed the hole in the roof. This is dangerous. Someone could slip. There you are, Mr. Young. I've decided that we'll pay for the new roof by holding a fundraiser auction. Students will be able to bid on school staff, making them servants for a day. You're going to sell me? Yeah. Why else would I have bought this solid gold auctioneer's gavel with the money from the school bus maintenance fund? <laughs> I mean, really, new brakes every 50,000 miles? Seems excessive. You know, if I convince Echo to buy me, we can spend the whole day together. Yeah, well, I'd like to not spend the whole day in here. <laughs> Careful, don't open me indoors. That's bad luck. You know, you really shouldn't let Slap push you around like that. What am I supposed to do? It's not like there's anyone around here to train me to fight back. <laughs> That's amazing, Day. You dodged the raindrops. That is amazing. It's so obvious. Tang, can you recommend someone to train me? <laughs> Sold for $25, Mr. Manx, our beloved shop teacher. Picture this. Oh, no. Who will help me with all this homework? I, Adam Young, your humble servant for the day, will help you. Oh, you're the greatest. Thank you. Anyway, you should bid on me. <laughs> sure. I mean, it's not like you're gonna go for a lot of money. 
Yes. <laughs> Next up for bid, our beloved janitor, Dang. Where is he? Hello! Hello. Hello. <laughs> Who will start the bidding? Ten dollars. Twenty! Oh, no, you don't. Thirty. We have thirty. Do I hear forty? Too rich for my broad. <laughs> Sold to Derby for thirty dollars. Next, get ready to bid on a biddy, Mrs. Byrne. Thank you, pageant judges. My talent is plate spinning. <laughs> okay, who would like to start the bidding? Do I hear $10? Eight. How about five? Come on, people, the woman spins plates. One dollar. What are you doing? I thought you were buying me. I am. I'm just trying to get the bidding started. I feel bad for her. We have one dollar. Do I hear a buck 25? <laughs> we can figure out a payment plan. <laughs> Sold for one dollar, Mrs. Byrne. What happened? I thought you were going to buy me. Don't worry, I'm sure someone else will buy you. Sold to Ivy Young. <laughs> no! Our final and most anticipated item is a beloved member of the Finnegan family who holds a special place in our hearts. Principal Tater! <gasps> oh, me? Oh, thank you. You're too kind. <laughs> You're awesome. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's start the bidding at $50,000. Come on, Slab, this isn't a joke. Oh, I'm not joking. <laughs> Do I hear 50,001? Maybe I could bid on myself. Hello? Hello? Soul. Good morning, servant. What are you going to do to me? I need a best friend. You know, someone to gossip with, take shopping with me, do each other's oh, hair. What about Bethany? I thought she was your best friend. She is. My bestest friend in the whole wide world. But she's recovering from a nose job. I hope they gave her a huge one. <laughs> what can your humble servant do for you? Teach me everything you know. I want to be able to do all the things you can do. Ah. You wish to be trained in the ancient ways, as I was back in Vietnam. <laughs> yeah! Yes, yes, where do I start? We must start with the basic. <laughs> Come. I will show you. On oh, this rocker! <laughs> you wash and dry. You wash and dry. Okay, I got it. <laughs> wash. Dry. Wash. Dry. Hiya! Dry. 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 Okay, Slab. The school desperately needs your $50,000, so I guess I'm your servant for the day. Oh, excellent. Best week's allowance I ever spent. <laughs> So what do you want me to do? Fan you with a palm frond, feed you grapes, carry you around the school like an emperor? <laughs> Please don't say carry you around the school like an emperor. <laughs> I simply want a day of rest, a chance to unwind while you do everything I would normally do myself. Like what? There, steal that nerd's lunch. 
the slab. I can't do that. Oh, well, I guess I'll just take back my $50,000. Hey, nerd, give me your lunch. <laughs> the only thing you'll be eating is a knuckle sandwich. <laughs> Good. Now eat it for me. <laughs> More voraciously. There you are, Echo. I'm ready to be your servant. Oh, right, the auction. Yeah, that's okay. Forget about it. I couldn't. Especially not after you paid so handsomely for me. It was a dollar. Don't remind me to think of all the things you could have gotten with that dollar. A hundred pieces of penny candy, 50 newspapers, two roast beef dinners. There must be something I can do for you. I can teach you how to pick up a dropped hanky. So you show just a turn of an ankle. <laughs> well, you get the idea. You know what? Maybe there is something you can do for me. Name it. You can accompany me to this movie I've been wanting to see. It's restricted. That's terrible. People should be able to watch a movie together, regardless of race. <laughs> Hello, class. <laughs> Today, we're going to be studying the life cycle. Boring. <laughs> Good one, servant. <laughs> Boring. Mr. Tater, would you like me to send you to the principal's office? Yes, I would love to go to my office. <laughs> I need your advice. Which of these new shoes should I keep and which should I return? Oh, keep the red ones. I think they're darling. Good. Then you can wear them. Break them in for me. Kisses. I wonder if she'll believe they accidentally fell out the window. Perfect time. Great. Perfect time. Great. Perfect. Wow. Alien abduction sure was scary. You're telling me? I can't believe that's happening right here on our planet. It was a movie. Yes, a chilling documentary. How many more humans do you think those slimy aliens will call before they travel back to their own planet? Mrs. Byrne, we're not in any danger. That's right. You and I are perfectly safe. Here in my bunker. <laughs> this no, place no, kept no. me secure through 17 wars and two crusades. <laughs> okay, now I teach Move to use when you want to take out trash. Awesome. Derby's learning how to take out the trash. <laughs> Trick is to do in single fluid motion. Bang, grab, rift, and frip. Okay. Yeah. Hey. I just put him in there. <laughs> These shoes are hard to walk in, but they make my legs look amazing. Mm, I think I'll have the cheese enchiladas. How can you eat stuff like that and still stay so skinny? I hate you. Wow, you're getting good at this. I really believed you hate me. Yeah, for some reason, that one came easy for me. Anyway, one of the things Bethany and I love to do together is she's interested in the guy and I steal him away from her. Bethany loves to do that? She must. We do it all the time. <laughs> anyway, there's Hutch. Go flirt with him. I can't flirt with Hutch. 
you have to, servant. School rules. Now, good luck, girlfriend. Whoa! I got you. Wow. You're strong. Mrs. Byrne, I need the key. Okay. The key to survival. <laughs> Staying locked up in this room so the aliens won't get us. I meant the key to the door. Oh, that key. Oh. That key is hidden in a place only I will remember. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> oh, well. We have plenty of canned food and soon plenty of tiny tin toilets. <laughs> Great. No signal. You don't need that transistor radio to be entertained. <laughs> we can read this book I've been dying to get you. <sighs> the War of 1812. <laughs> Can't wait to see what this is about. <laughs> You have learned all that I can teach you. I have? Sensei? Yes. You can now face any challenge on your own. I can, can't I? Hey, Slab! I've had it. After years of picking on me, it's payback time. <laughs> Are you challenging me to a fight? No. I'm informing you that when you wake up in a hospital later with no memory of what happened, it was me who put you there. Well, we'll see about that. Tater, get in here. Hey, what's up? Just about to go to ballet class for you. Forget that. Need you to kick Derby's butt. Oh, I can't do that. You're darn right you can't. <laughs> No, I mean, I can't fight a student. I need to draw the line somewhere. <laughs> Quiet, nerd, I'm talking! <laughs> well, I guess you're going up on the roof and fixing that hole yourself. Say goodbye to the $50,000. Can I? Would you let me just hold it one last time? Maybe give it a few little kisses? No! Well, I guess I have to do everything around here myself. Good. Bring it. You pretty confident. Why don't you learn how to fight? From you. You've been training me all day. To cream. <laughs> what are you talking about? You say, teach me everything you know. About fighting. <laughs> oh. You're not very Korea. Good news is, now that I have trained you in ancient ways, once again, of cleaning, you can mop up on bread. <laughs> Look, Tater's trying to steal your $50,000. What? Hello? Ada! It's Echo. I need you to do something for me. Of course, I'll do anything for you. After all, I am your servant. <laughs> oh, wait. Bye bye. No, don't hang up. No. A book. The War of 1812. Sounds interesting. <laughs> Where were we? I was just saying how much fun I'm having. I mean, you're so easy to talk to. Not a lot of guys are comfortable flying a kite with another dude. Ugh. Hey, Hutch. I was wondering if you wanted to do something with me. Yeah, kind of with someone right now. I know, but wouldn't you rather be with me? 
<laughs> Look, Ivy, you're a great girl, but we're having a picnic. <laughs> I'm supposed to steal Hutch away from you. Hey, don't blame me if you don't have the goods. Are you stealing my man? Last time I checked, he wasn't yours to steal. That's it. Someone hold my earring. Yeah, and someone hold my calculator. <laughs> Whoa, what is going on? Oh, hey, Bethany. <laughs> anyway, you look awesome. Did you do something to your hair? Ow! 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 Quit it! You quit it! I thought I smelled chicken from my house. <laughs> oh no. Oh yeah. I don't hear anything. The aliens must have abducted everyone and returned to their home planet. I'm afraid you and I are the last human beings on Earth. Yeah, I'm sure that that's it, and not that it's nine o'clock at night and everybody went home. We need to go out there and rebuild a new society. Yes, we need to go out there. Do you remember where the key is? No, I wish I did. We'll have to use the spare. I can't believe every other human being has been abducted by aliens never to be returned. rejected this one for being substandard. <laughs> oh, great. Now there's another mess to clean up. You called? Ah! 